Hi there, my name is Chris and I'm from the Printable, Cuttable, Creatables design team for 2022. And today's video, I am showing you how to make this gorgeous Hello Summer sign for your front door using the Hello Summer SVG file. So if this interests you, stick around. So for this project, this is the supplies. These are the supplies that you're going to need. The first thing that you're going to need is a wooden sign. You could do round, uh, rectangle. I am using a 15 inch circle. Has a little rope here for hanging. And then you'll need some paints. So I have lime green, neon pink, deep turquoise, and pumpkin orange. You'll need some removable vinyl to make a stencil. So this one is new to me, so I'm going to be trying this one out and I'll let you know how it is some brushes or sponges. Uh, I picked up this lay for uh, adding decoration to the bottom, but we'll see how that goes. I found these vinyls from my local Michaels for sale, and this one is flamingos, and this one is floral. I might use them, I'm not sure. We'll put them off to the side and see how it works. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to paint with our pumpkin orange. Just taking a lid, pouring my paint, and I'll be using my sponge. So we're going to let that dry and once it's dry we're going to apply our second coat. All right, so I'm going to upload my Hello Summer SVG file. And here it is, and I'm going to make it bigger, put it off to the side, add a shape, and my circle is 15 inches. So I'm going to just add my circle and make it 15 inches so that I could see the size of my Here, we'll just put it up here to 15 there okay so there I'm gonna reduce so I could see there's my circle here's my hello summer we're gonna bring it to the 
we're going to bring it to the front. There we go. And we're going to enlarge it. But I only use 12 by 12 mats. So I have to make sure it stays at about there. Okay. Then I'm going to come here and ungroup it. And I'm going to get rid of this because I don't want that. Delete. I just want this. I'm going to ungroup this now because I can make them bigger sizes if I wanted to. And ungroup. There we go. It should be individual. Yeah. So I'm going to group the flower together to keep it together. And I'm going to make it, yeah, about that size is good. Then I'm going to make the hello a bit bigger. Yep. And then the summer. There we go. I'm going to group the hello and the flower so that those two, okay. And then I'm going to, um, I'm going to attach so it's all the same color. And then when I go to make it, oh, I have to block off that circle. There we go. Now I go to make it. And oh, it's a little bit too big. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. So we're going to make it a little bit smaller. And size it down there. And we're going to make it. No, it's still too big. Just size it down a little bit more. There. Okay, good. So now when I make it, I'm going to actually pick a different setting on my Cricut. So I'm going to press continue. And so this is um, removable vinyl, so we don't need to mirror it. Mirror it's only for HTB. And then I'm going to browse materials and I'm going to type in washi sheet. There we go. And that's the material I'm going to select. I'm going to star that one too because I'll probably use it more. So I've selected washi sheet. I learned this from another tutorial and then we're going to start cutting it on our Cricut or cutting machine. This is for a Cricut maker machine. We are going to actually weed out the actual design and we want to keep that outside line so that we could actually paint. So right now I'm I'm t peeling off the word. So hello, I'm peeling off the H E L L O because that's what I want to paint. At the start of this video, I forgot to mention that you need some Cricut uh, transfer tape or any kind of transfer tape. I'm using the Cricut brand and I'm going to cut the hello and the flower out because that's what I'm putting on individually. And now I'm going to line it up where I want it on my sign.
And now comes the fun part, painting. So I'm going to paint the flower pink, the inside of the flower blue, the leaf green, and uh, hello in green as well. So have fun with this paint, all the colors that you want. This might have been easier with one of those rounded sponges, but I didn't have one, but it worked out just fine with the sponges that I had used. So this last part, I forgot to press record on my camera. So I actually used the Flamingo uh, Caesar permanent vinyl and I went to the Caesar website right here and I scrolled down and it, I'm using Easy PSV permanent, okay? And so if you scroll down, it shows you the different colors. It shows you what, uh, what projects you could put this permanent vinyl on. And I went to the Cricut Maker, which I have, and it's calling for the blade is the auto blade the fine point the one that comes with the Cricut machine and the setting that you will use to cut this vinyl is the heat transfer non Cricut setting and it worked beautifully so follow this if you're using Caesar easy PSV permanent vinyl okay we're on the home stretch now so to finish this off I'm going to add some of this lay to the bottom and I'm also going to add it to the top just like this. And I'm going to be using hot glue and just cutting and eyeballing where I want to place it. And there you have it. We have this gorgeous door hanging sign, welcoming summer. And there you have your hello summer door hanging. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time.